So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to be talking again about improper integrals. So we've already talked about integrating, for example, from 0 to infinity, or from 0 to 1 where the function is unbounded in there, like 1 over x. But in this video, we're going to look at integrals of the form negative infinity to infinity f of x dx. And for our purposes here, let's assume that f of x is bounded everywhere. So, as a definition, we might be tempted to say that this should be defined as the limit as a approaches, as a approaches infinity, integral from negative a to a of f of x dx. But would this actually work? So would this work as a definition? Well, we know that integration should be fixed by shifting the function. And if we're integrating from negative infinity to infinity, if we shift f over a little bit, we should still get the same answer. So for example, we want the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x dx to be equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x plus 1 dx, right? Because we're just shifting x over to get x plus 1. However, the limit as a approaches infinity of the integral from negative a to a of x dx well, geometrically, we know that this is zero because x passes through the origin and everything on the left-hand side is negative. There's a corresponding positive area on the right-hand side. So this is zero. While the other limit isn't going to be zero. Let's see that on the next page. So the limit as a approaches infinity, integral from negative a to a, x plus 1 dx. Let's use an antiderivative. So we're going to get the limit as a approaches infinity of x squared over 2 plus x. And we're evaluating this thing from negative a to a. And this is the limit as a approaches infinity of 2a, and that equals infinity. So our definition of an integral from negative infinity to infinity as being the limit as a approaches infinity of the integral from negative a to a doesn't work. So we have to try something else. So we are going to use the following definition. Integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx is by definition the limit as a approaches negative infinity integral from a to c of f of x dx, we'll talk about c in a moment, plus the limit as a approaches infinity, uh, let, oh, not use a, let's say b approaches infinity integral from c to b of f of x dx. So this is our definition. And c can be any number that we want. Often 0 will be a convenient number, but we can make it anything we want. Essentially what we're doing is splitting this into two different uh, improper integrals. So integral from negative infinity, say, to 0, and then from 0 to infinity, and then using the definition that we've already seen to get these two things. So let's look at an example. Let's look at the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative absolute value of x dx. So by definition, we can split it up into two limits like this. And so we'll get the limit as a approaches negative infinity integral from a to something. Well, I'm going to pick 0. And I'll tell you why in a moment. So integral 
uh, from a to 0, e to the negative absolute value of x, dx, plus the limit as b goes to infinity, integral from 0 to b, e to the negative absolute value of x, dx. So why did I choose 0? Well, 0 is a special value uh, with respect to the absolute value of x. It's where it, ch it's where it goes from sloping down to sloping up. So for all the values here that we care about, the absolute value of x is always going to be equal to negative x. Right? If x is, say, negative 3, then the absolute value of x is negative negative 3, or just 3. So if we want to simplify this, we get negative x when we get rid of the absolute values. We have a negative here, so we can replace this thing with just x. On the other hand, here, x is positive, or at the very least non-negative. So absolute value of x is equal simply to x. So this thing gets replaced with negative x. And now we can use our familiar antiderivatives to evaluate both of these. So by definition, this is the limit as a approaches negative infinity. I'm going to rewrite these. So integral from a to 0, and we simplify this one to be e to the x dx, plus limit as b goes to infinity, integral 0 to b of e to the negative x dx. So we'll use antiderivatives. We'll get the limit as a approaches negative infinity of e to the x evaluated between a and 0, plus the limit as b goes to infinity of negative e to the negative x between 0 and b. And if we evaluate e to the x at 0, we get 1. If we evaluate it at a, we get e to the a. So this is limit as a approaches negative infinity e, uh, let me not even write e, let's just say 1 minus e to the a, and then plus limit as b goes to infinity negative e to the negative b minus negative 1. Right, when we plug in 0, we get 1 again, so minus negative 1. As a goes to negative infinity, e to the a goes to 0, so we're left simply with 1 from this first part. And as b goes to infinity, e to the negative b also goes to 0. This thing goes to 0, we're left with negative negative 1, which is simply 1. So you get 1 plus 1, which is 2. So I'll leave you with a question. What is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative absolute value of x plus 2 dx? And as a hint, think about what value you want to split based on the fact that you have an absolute value of x plus 2 in the exponent of e.